hello guys uh, in this video we are going to look at scenario analysis and how to switch uh, from a uh, different uh, scenario or cases in building financial model there is no way you will have a very nice financial modeling without having different scenario okay then I'm going to use two formula, uh, two methods here then you can choose uh, which one that is more convenient uh, for you uh, to switch from one case to another and we make use of this uh, hypothetical data uh, to achieve our objective okay uh, I will use this method one here and the method uh, second method uh, here let's uh, watch carefully and see it this is the active uh, cost cell and this is the active uh, price cell and this is the active quantity so there are different uh, cases okay here now the first method just say equal to i'm going to match uh, two foxes uh, which is match uh, uh, and choose a match okay let me use a uh, choose choose then the index number then i'll match it match okay then what is my field look stop this is my field look this is where i'm going i uh, will do something here later okay let me fix it with f4 okay comma okay look up value now is my look for value array here from this place uh to this place okay well the, uh, i would like to use a cell reference so that i'll easily copy the formula across the other uh cases okay here now i have to fix a a is constant but the number is moving from a c seven c okay if i come here now i will have uh, a 11 but for me to achieve that i have to fix this a fix it with the dollar sign okay also fix it here fix it okay then comma i want a sort match click this close your parentheses comma then choose excuse me choose our uh, follow now the follow i want to choose i want to choose it from here from here okay this is comma this seven comma to be eight then click enter and close it okay not available i know the issue is not available that should not be our problem okay let me fix this uh, first before I move. That's what we call data validation. Okay, I will use data validation to fix this problem. Let's go to data. Okay, I'm already in data. Then go to data validation. Okay, come here. Then click list. List. What is the source? Okay, my source. Let me take my source from here. You can take any of this. Okay, from this to this. Then enter. Okay, then. If I choose uh, this now, this will be fixed. Okay, can you see it? Fine. Then I can copy my formula across now. Then just control C and control V. Okay, can you see? I can copy it across here as well. Control V. Okay, fine. Then copy it across here. Copy it across. To fee correct nice one if you see it you can see that uh our best case which is 10 10 10 10 10 10 12 12 12 15 have you see you will see that it is much and if we also come to the active price we will see that for our best case 20 20 25 25 30 10 if we also come here 100 100 95 97 90 okay let me choose uh let me select another one this case and you see everything has also changed okay this case here 90 90 85 85 80 fine 
and if you also come here 15 15 17 17 and 20 if you choose the third one then you are going to get the same thing that's right then let's go to second method that is the first method you can uh, look at the formula carefully choose then match if you don't know how to use match you can go and watch my previous video you will see uh, how we make use of match function okay there is the formula okay then let's now move to second formula second method in this second method i'm going to uh make use of fill lookup okay is equal to fill lookup fill lookup okay what is my lookup value i'm still going to reference to this okay but i have to fix this one f4 because it's cost out all of them comma lookup array what is my lookup uh, array that is my database where i want to get my uh result from all this okay to make sure that this one is also fixed i have to do uh something here you can see that our case is to be eight if i want to come here now it will be uh k 11 to be uh 13 okay you can see that k is constant and b is also constant let me fix it that is what we call cell referencing okay fix it with dollar sign okay also fix this one with dollar sign sorry shift dollar sign okay fine then command what is the column index my column index number here i'm going to use something because i have to count it i say one two three okay one two it should be two here but i don't want to write that two okay i don't want to write two let me use the uh, columns say columns 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 okay then here now i want this to move so that it will move for any other uh says i will not be counting it after the other and i will be able to copy the formula uh instantly let's say from here let's say it's from here my data start from here okay let me fix this k k is constant all of them even if i move down okay let me fix k with uh this okay then shift okay k for again okay for again then let me close it okay comma then i want to start match start match let me close it enter oh let's kiss what is the problem what happened to it it gave me this uh, K four to K oh sorry it should be K four to hell you now to hell four because I'm moving forward to hell four fine 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 and you can see that it is much with this okay let me now copy my formula as usual control C control V okay fine let me also copy it here to fit fine then let me copy this to the last one control v okay fine okay then let me select worst case scenario and see what will happen to all of them okay can you see that everything is fine 12 12 50 50 50 okay if you thoroughly look at it uh you will see that uh the uh, port formulas uh work uh, perfectly okay then let now do our analysis here now then for our revenue we just say our revenue is a function of the price and quantity then that is this one multiplied by this multiplied by this okay then click enter okay then i can copy it across i can copy it across Great. Then it means that. Excuse me. I can copy this formula across now. Okay.
okay let me copy it across okay everything is fine here okay let me do the same thing here is equal to my price here is my price this one multiply by my quantity so which is active six okay enter and you see fine all right okay see that everything is fine then let me now also have cost for my cost cost is also function of the uh cost and the uh, uh per unit cost it's a function of per unit cost and the quantity okay is equal to okay this is my cost this one five multiplied by my quantity Let me do the same thing for this. Is equal to, is equal to cost. This one here. Multiply by my quantity. So, and dump it. Yeah. And to see, let me copy. Sorry. And to see. And to fake. Fine. And you see that I have the same result here with this. Let me now switch uh, uh, my scenario. Let's have the best case. Okay, can you see it? 2,7,30,50. Fine. Okay, everything is uh, working fine now. Then let's now have uh, my profit. Okay, profit. Let's assume that I don't have any other cost. Okay. We now have profit, not any other cost. Alright, then is equal to this minus this. Enter. Okay, let me copy it across. Alright, and to see, and to see. Fine. Okay, can you see? Fine, fine, fine now. see it of my profit at this now let me also look at this as profit profit all right okay can we see it okay both methods work work fine what else can we do i think we have done with this okay uh in this video we did sell reference uh, we did uh, data validation and we did a scenario uh, switch in which we make use of field lookups and also uh, choose and match functions. Okay, I believe that you have learned uh, many new things in this video. Uh, if you have any question to state uh, to ask me, either through my uh, YouTube uh, channel uh, or any other means that you can think. Uh, you can reach me okay i'm still your humble guy uh ibrahim uh except guru if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so so that immediately we uh upload new video on our channel definitely then you will receive the notification uh see you next time bye for now and use excel and excel